Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauro Miller and I make videos about programming. This is the very first video of the introduction to JavaScript course and today we'll discuss the course structure. So let's jump right into the presentation and see all the topics we'll cover during the series. Here are the main topics we're going to cover in this introduction to JavaScript course. Here is the whole list, but I think it's better if we go one by one in details. In the introduction, we are going to talk about the course structure and scope and a bit of setup required if you want to do local development for this course. If you want to use the online environment, I'll just quickly show you how to set it up, but it has virtually zero setup because you can just use everything directly from your browser. And then we'll go through a couple of ways of running JavaScript code. We then move to basic concepts where we're going to explore the JavaScript syntax. We are not going to cover everything, just the main uh, construct so that you know how JavaScript looks like. We then discuss values, variables, and the many operators that you can use in JavaScript. In the third part, we're going to talk about primitive values. So booleans, numbers, strings, string templates, the null and undefined, and also symbols. And then we will move on to talking about control flow. So conditional statements, this would be the if and switch statements and loops as well. In the exception part, we are going to talk about how to handle errors in JavaScript and the syntax behind handling errors in JavaScript. And then we will go and do a deep dive into functions. We talk about ordinary functions, specialized functions, how to handle parameters and how to return values from functions. We'll then move on to objects where we'll talk about single objects and prototype chaining. This is going to be, since it's an introduction course, I'm not going to spend too much time going into advanced topics of objects. This will be reserved to the advanced topics in JavaScript course. We'll then move on to classes and we're going to talk about the class syntax, static and private properties and class inheritance. Now, this is something that you will find a few diverging opinions on the internet, whether you should use classes or not. But just let me tell you, once you integrate TypeScript, then working with classes becomes so intuitive and such a breeze that it really is worth spending the effort for us to explore classes already in the JavaScript course. We'll then move on to arrays where we will talk about a few or quite a few topics in arrays, uh, operations, the four off loops and how to use them with arrays. We'll also discuss different ways of creating arrays of arbitrary length and also how to do a bit of array manipulation. We also want to explore a few methods for iterating over arrays how to sort them, multi-dimensional arrays, and then a quick introduction to Lodash because this is really a, a library that is very helpful when it comes to array manipulation and operations related to arrays and objects in general. Once this is covered, we move on to destructuring. That's something that JavaScript introduced quite recently, I think. It was not there at the beginning, but we will go through because this is extremely helpful in development. It's, it's, it makes it much more intuitive to work with objects and arrays. And I think it's extremely useful. We see this used everywhere when working with JavaScript and with TypeScript in more advanced projects. We will then move to asynchronous programming where we are going to talk or brief introduction to asynchronous programming in JavaScript. We will then discuss promises and async functions. Last or not last, but second to last, we'll talk modularity in JavaScript, how to create modules and how to divide our code because it's extremely important. I mean, no JavaScript program that is serious has just one file, right? So you need to split up the program and you also need to use modules that sometimes are not local. They are modules that are developed by other people or they are modules that are in other repositories of a company. So you need to have or need to have an idea how to work with modules in JavaScript. And last but not least, we will briefly discuss working with JSON in JavaScript. Pretty amazing. Love it. So there are lots of cool topics to discuss. And if you don't want to miss anything, subscribe to the channel. The next videos are coming right up and you'll receive a small notification once I publish them. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye.